Hello, my name is Dr Siobhan Hugh-Jones and I'm a lecturer in psychology at the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds. This podcast is about attachment and in particular the internal working model as proposed by the British psychiatrist John Bowlby. The podcast is structured into three parts. In part one, we'll cover the core principles of attachment theory. In part two, we'll examine Bowlby's concept of the internal working model and how this links to different types of attachment. Part three is concerned with the adult attachment interview and what it tells us about the stability of internal working models. We begin a consideration of attachment theory with a shocking story of baby P, which hit the headlines in 2008. This picture was taken when baby P was 12 months old, just months before his mother's boyfriend and lodger started to abuse him. His mother and grandmother were also accused of physical abuse and neglect of baby P. This picture, taken in 2008, just a few months before baby P died, shows a thin and exhausted child, his face smeared with chocolate to conceal bruising. Baby P died from a series of horrific injuries, including a broken back, all sustained at the hands of adults over a period of eight months. Whilst there was public outcry about the child's death, and the culpability of health professionals in that, there was considerable shock that a mother could be complicit in acts of abuse of her own child. The judge described the mother in particular as manipulative and self-centered, and she was sworn at by the public in court. Newspapers reported that she would be hated forever. Yet at the time, some psychologists were at pains to point out that many adults who failed to care appropriately for their children are likely to have themselves been poorly parented and even abused. Many also pointed out that removing children from their parents and carers is not necessarily a straightforward solution as children form attachments to them, even in the case of parental cruelty. These points raise some key questions about attachment. What is the nature of attachment between a child and its carer? How can it exist in the context of maltreatment? And how does one's attachment experience as a child influence one's ability to parent when older?